Josh heading out to the local today. We've got Jack. Me and Jack used to work on the yachts overseas together. Old famous mothership uh, Karima, no longer. Shooting out uh, Terry on the IRB. Gonna get uh, Jack his first king at its home. So, um, Jack's in the water, that is busting up, so uh, if he doesn't get one, he owes me a box of beers because this is, uh, this is like shooting fish in a barrel. Go hard Jack! So this well-known spot, um, yes it's very fishy, but I do not recommend uh, anyone really to go here unless you're, you're very experienced um, at spearing or you've had plenty of experience around sharks. It really isn't for beginner divers, um, so yeah, I really don't recommend guys coming out here trying to get their first fish unless you're with someone who's uh, done it before and got some good experience. This uh, spot is usually about three to four meters visibility max, um, as it's the inner Haraki Gulf of Auckland, New Zealand. Quite a dirty spot, but we were greeted with clear blue water, as you can see, seething with kingfish. We were just uh, very, very happy and uh, surprised. Jack, go hard, bro. This is uh, Jack's first dive on some kingfish, so down he goes and just takes in the amazing sight. Um, just experiences a, a semi vortex there and is blown away. Jack dives down and is spoiled for choice with some nice kingfish. Uh, they were all well and truly legal, but he wasn't quite sure, thought they were undersized, so made the right call and, and didn't pull the trigger. It might sound like quite a naggy, uh, annoying buddy diver, but um, I was just telling him to hurry up as this is quite unusual behaviour of kingfish. Usually they'll come in a school like this for 30 seconds, a minute tops, and then they will uh, bugger off back down into the depths. So yeah. This time Jack dives down and uh, just wasn't in range. He saw a nice couple of big ones and a uh, big bronzy down below so um, yeah it's quite nerve-wracking the first time you see some big sharks um, so don't blame him <laughs> anyways we get there in the end don't look at the side no they're not to shoot mm -hmm. oh, 
a nice school comes in, Jack dives down once again and um, some really nice fish in there. Jack decides to put a shaft into the fish closest to the bronze whaler shark here on the right and um, yeah, gets on through. Anyways, fight starts from here. I dove down straight away. As predicted, the bronze whaler sharks came in to see the action within a matter of seconds um, and yeah, lucky I was there, otherwise they would have been a bit more uh, confident and probably ripped the fish off uh, Jack's shaft. There were bronze whales everywhere, underneath me, behind me, in front of us, just everywhere. But um, if you get that fish up to the surface as fast as you can, you've got a really good chance of securing it. They don't like coming close um, once that fish is up in your hands, in my experience anyways. Nice Jack! Jack gets the fish into his uh, arms, good bear hug and doesn't let go. We swim for the boat um, to have a breather from all the mayhem. Yo Jack, well done bro. It's all good. Nice work, bro. Holy oh, Nice work. I got it. Jump in, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Nice, bro. First oh, my God. Hey. What a f***ing mess. First legal oh. king you've been, bro. Oh, f*** me. You're good. <sighs> uh, you hold on to him, deal to him. I'm going to smack another one. Oh, here, bro. Hey, bro. Oh, just one. We just got here, bro. What the fuck? Pulling your sharks, but pull them up quick. Around here, eh? Hey? Around there's a lot, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Oh, what a fing mess. <laughs> right, I'm gonna smack on, bro. You deal with yours. Oh, bro. Take a breather. Oh, that was fing sick. You're oh. Well done, bro. You pulled them up real fast. I'll be back. That's a pretty intense first kingy. <laughs> Bye. Like, oh, Righto, with Jack on board, it was time to get some kingfish for myself. I swim down, the first fish wasn't quite big enough uh, for my liking, so waited for the rest of the school to cruise in and uh, saw a little bit of an injured fish, so decided to finish him off. Um, just couldn't quite get the angle here, so lined up again and whack. Ideally in this situation you really want a nice stone shot straight off the bat but um, I just couldn't quite get the angle lined up and uh, anyway so managed a good holding shot and ripped the fish up as fast as I could. It was a thrill, it was such fun spearfishing, I mean yeah the adrenaline was pumping, you can hear me breathing, it was, it was intense but yeah one of the funnest styles I've done in a long long time. I dispatch the fish and uh, get back to the boat ASAP just to have a breather and a debrief on the, the mayhem. Sharks are fast. Whew. But I'm gonna uh, jump back in the water and uh, give Jacko a hand, give him a spot in case some more sharks. And uh, he knows a kingfish here and he's a spotter. It's, it's crazy here. <laughs> Jack, he's gonna shoot one, they'll come up. I'll, I'll be all uh, 
hand in hand. <laughs> Over your shark control, okay? <laughs> It's often the case when uh, a diver shoots a kingfish, all the other kingfish in the area will come and swarm that fish, checking them out, seeing what's going on. So yeah, we were um, waiting for another diver to plug one and get our chance at a, an easy catch as they come to the surface. Uh, by this stage in the dive, the kingfish uh, had become quite wary of us. Uh, they were hugging the reef down low, staying a bit wider, uh, just out of shooting range. So, yeah, we had to drop down quite a few times and uh, to finally get back on them. Finally, some more kingfish rolled in and uh, Jack managed to tag one. Unfortunately, it just tore off. Um, it's not a worry, these fish heal really fast and um, that fish will be fine, no issues. This one swam right up after it saw the shaft getting pulled up like a, a flasher and uh, I decided to take this one. Nice fat kingfish. Put a really nice, good, solid shot just just above that peck fin, nearly spining it. Definitely hurt the fish, so yanked him up fast. And uh, yeah, awesome. Three kingfish for us, more than happy, and uh, more than enough fish for us and our family, so pretty stoked. We make a few more dives, just enjoying the dive with the kingfish, and then uh, the tide turned, sun started coming up, and the, the visibility just turned for the worse. So um, that was it. Called it a day at the spot and uh, cruised back towards home. Oh, calling it at this spot. Sun's coming up, water's getting a bit dirtier, and the fish are. Um, had enough of us, so they're hanging quite deep, so anyways, we'll move on. Pretty successful. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Gun. <laughs> nice. Um, just jump in, bro. I'll, I'll pull it in. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> What a morning, the sun's just poking up, it was epic. Beautiful mate. Alright Jacko, what do you think of the first kingy experience mate? <laughs> it went exactly as I thought it would, eh? Just a fucking mess. <laughs> yeah, result, bag result. of fish. We're just going to go um, peel in a bit closer and, and try a spot for some snapper. Whack a few kinner up and then, um, yeah, wind's picking up I think a bit uh, earlier than predicted today. So we'll uh, go home for breakfast I reckon. We jump in on the second spot on the way home and usually I would take one of these beautiful kawai but uh, we had plenty of kingfish for the smoker and, and whatnot so just enjoyed the dive, checked out a bit of new terrain and uh, we are pretty buggered. There was a lot of adrenaline pumping through those uh, previous dives with the kingfish and sharks so um, quick dive around here and that was it for today. With not a lot of fish life here, started cruising back to the boat and uh, got buzzed by this big seal. Gave me a hell of a fright. Well, 
little bit of a dive for some snapper. Plenty of small ones around and um, some good sign of some larger fish, but um, just buggy day. Been up since um, 4 30 and got plenty of fish, so current's pushing really hard as well. We're just going to call it, um, cruise back, and the whole day ahead of us. So, um, yeah, go fill up these kingies and have some for lunch, probably. Jack's just in the water. Good muscle made down here, so he's going to grab a feed of mussels. Kingies in the bag. Ripping the guts out of this one, make the clean up easier later. Job done, we're out of here. Well, that was a sweet little morning. Good little mission. Pretty cool to see um, someone get their first kingfish. Good, good mission. So, um, yeah, bags full of fish, cooling, cooling down, and um, yeah, we'll shoot on home and um, might do a bit of filleting and show you how I fillet my kingfish and um, yeah, we'll see you there. Righto, so we're um, gonna fillet the kingies. Got two strung up. This is the uh, easiest method I've found lately. I've seen a few people doing this, so um, gave it a crack and it seems to work a treat. Peel them off. Um, so we're gonna do the hanging fillet method. Um, seen a few guys doing this and it works a treat. Done it once the other day. So I just um, cut down the edges here. We've already gutted the fish out in the water. Um, so basically you just chip pull out here and it um, gets the bone there and it just peels off real nicely. I'll just make a slit in there for our hand. You just keep nicking away there and it just peels out a treat. Um, if you get them on ice and set them for a few hours, that meat flesh sets it. Um, peels out even easier but as you can see it just peels off but I all wasted unless you're rough like me but um yeah see that and um peels off a treat there's not much flesh left on there at all so we'll finish these off and um yeah there we have it give it a go it's real easy much easier than on the bench slimy fish sliding around yeah. That is literally the best way to fill out the king. There's not much left on that main frame. We'll get the wings of course, always smoke those up, steam them up, whatever you want to do. And um, there's the fillets. Just coming up me.